my beauty, my style, self-growth, my way. Welcome or welcome back if this is your very first time. My name is Tony, and you are here with me on a very special day. Today is my life's anniversary. This is my birthday today. I am blessed to be able to see 32 years old. But I do have a basis of a topic because y'all know I like to bring the value. I'm never gonna get on here and just give you some froth. We got to have the froth and the body of the drink. I'm just saying. Okay, today, I just wanna talk about slowing down. I'm going to speak a lot about content creation because that has been my journey in life, especially over the last year. Let me give you guys a little bit of backstory. If you have not watched my videos or if you're new here completely, I am a college dropout. Okay. I did not finish college. I went back several times and times and times and times again, and it just was not working out for me. It wasn't my drive in life. And honestly, I just did not feel fulfilled. So I am coming from that background of feeling like I was inadequate, that I was inferior to others, that I wasn't good enough. That that was kind of the mindset that I went through for several years. Now that I have been in content creation for the last year and how that has been, you know, how that's reflected on my life, I can tell you this. There is never ever, ever a moment in your life that is too late. If there is something that you've been wanting to start, I don't care if you're in your 60s or 70s, start it. I was one of those people that thought that I had to have my life together by 30. I thought that, you know, the societal standards were also my standards and that was not at all the standards of my own life. Just because society tells us that we have to have the white picket fence by 30 does not mean that we have to have the white picket fence by 30, okay? A lot of us are gonna have so many different experiences in life. Some of us are gonna be taught early on about credit. Some of us are gonna learn a lot later in life after you done made a lot of mistakes. You're gonna learn later in life about credit. Some of us are gonna go to school. Some of us are not gonna go to school. Do y'all see where I'm going with this? Everybody is going to have a different life experience. Somebody's success might come at 24, 25 when they have graduated and gotten that, you know, nice six figure paying job. Or some of us have to go through a little more life experiences before we can get that moment of a break through or what we feel like is a breakthrough. I am loving how 30s have been treating me because not only have I gotten to a point where I have learned that I'm not inferior to others and that I just needed to go through my own life experiences, there was a reason, there was a specific reason why God took me through the path in life that he did. This comment in particular on TikTok, somebody said that we're constantly going, going, going. Content creation has us just racing through life, trying to get to that next phase. Honestly, it's the truth. We go through life trying to push to that next season because we're not comfortable with where we are or we're not happy enough with where we are. So we're trying to hurry up and get to that next phase of life. That is how my mentality was when I got into content creation. My mindset was jump in, go hard, get as many jobs as you can, make $10,000 in your first six months. I just thought that I was gonna get in here and that I was gonna kill it and that I I just wanted to work hard and hard and hard and hard. Mind y'all, not only was I dedicating myself to that, but I still had other responsibilities that I was skipping past mentally just because I was so focused on pushing my content and making it blow up overnight so that I could quit my job and make that my job. And God told me no. God told me no. And I was frustrated. I thought that, you know, I had it all figured out and God was nowhere in my plans. <laughs> Let me just say this, you are a believer and you do not have God at the forefront of your plans and you are not consulting with God every time that you move, reevaluate what you're doing. Because I can tell you from my personal experience, I was not consulting with God. I was not waiting for God to order my steps and I was just going, going, going. And then I kept wondering why I felt like I was getting nowhere. I originally got into content creation because I wanted to be that voice for people who felt like they couldn't speak about certain topics. I wanted to openly share my story in prayer that it would help somebody else because truly what I love to do more than anything is actually encourage others. I love to encourage others to, you know, work on themselves, do that self-work, put that self-work in and actually change your life from the inside out because I was that person. I had to do a lot of self work in order to get to where I am. I had to go through all of the motions and the, you know, the emotional drama and the traumas. And I would, I was willing to go through it so that I could speak about it later on in hopes that it would help somebody else. And I lost sight of that. 
I lost sight of that because I got infatuated with the lifestyle. With content creation and obtaining entrepreneurship, you do have that freedom. You get that freedom, you get that flexibility to be able to do what you want. If I wanna get up tomorrow and go and travel, I can do that. If I wanna go spend money on this X, Y, and Z, I can do that. If I wanted to just be like, you know what, I don't even feel like working for the next couple of days. I could do that. And I, I I guess I had my sights set so much on the lifestyle and how I could live my life that I forgot why I was even doing it in the first place. I wanted that freedom and that time to be able to spend with my husband, to be able to spend with my children, to be able to do simple things every day, like wake up, wake them up, cook a healthy breakfast for them and not feel rushed to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like right now I still gotta work, so I gotta get up. I gotta clock in, I gotta get them up. Everything is kind of like, you know, time is just flowing. Time is really flowing right now. That was my main thing was I wanted that time back to be able to invest in the things that I wanted to. I can call myself out when I need to and I got so wrapped up in the lifestyle of the material things that I could have bought if I had the money. And if that is why you're in content creation and you're just chasing the money, I just want you to stop and figure out what other values you want out of it because if you're solely just chasing the money and the lifestyle just to you know be able to buy things that is not going to bring you any kind of happiness in your life i feel like i have reached a new level that next level is actually right back at the start and starting over with knowing that my journey is not going to look like everybody else's. It, it might have similarities. I Like if you've been here, then you know I do beauty content. I love doing beauty content. I love doing my makeup, even though I don't have any on right now. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I was cute yesterday on my birthday. Insert picture, boom. Yes, baby, I was cute. But today I was like, I don't feel like doing that. Like I, it's my birthday. I wanna relax. I don't even want a camera in front of my face. Like that's how I felt all day long. It is nighttime right now and I'm just now recording this video, but I just wanted to document this on my life's anniversary to really get you guys to understand, look, this is life and life is really lifing for a lot of us right now. But the reason it's life and so hard is because we're not slowing down to appreciate the, the smaller things. I can honestly tell you probably a handful of the milestones that I've reached this past year. For my first year of content creation, I felt like I have done very well for myself. I have made a lot of side money. I, I can be honest, I've made a, a nice amount of side hustle money from doing content creation. I've had a lot of opportunities, but I can only tell you a handful of them. And that is because again, I was so focused on reaching that next level that I was bypassing so much mentally that I just wasn't documenting enough memories in my head. I wasn't stopping to journal a lot of those experiences that I was having and I forgot them. All in all, what, regardless of if it's content creation or you know whether you are in school or if you are just wanting to document and journal your life period because all of our share are all of blah, 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 blah. all of our stories are worth sharing all of our lives are worth documenting so if that's something that you just want to do just because you want to journal your process do it but I advise you from experience take more time to get those smaller little details this is going to be a new tony during this process moving forward no more rushing if i get on here and i do topics i'm doing topics that i love i'm doing topics that i want to talk about i'm no longer getting on here just doing certain talking points just because i want to generate some good content if my content <clears throat> it's going to be seen, it's going to be seen. And it's going to be seen by the right people and heard by the right ears. Of course, I'll still do my beauty, like, cause y'all know that's, that's my thing. I have not yet decided if I'm gonna start vlogging because honestly, I like my life private. I like getting to turn this camera off and just solely being with my husband and my children. So I don't know if we're gonna vlog. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of touch on that a little bit later. But most importantly, I just encourage you to keep on doing the topics that you love. Keep on discussing the things that you wanna talk about. Document whatever you want to document. And don't worry about doing content solely for the appreciation or for the target audience talk about the things that you want to talk about because more likely so you're going to have experience in what you're talking about so that experience is going to 
relay well to your audience. Just slow down, slow down and appreciate everything that you're experiencing during your journey. So again, we are turning over a new leaf here. I really hope that y'all continue to rock with me because, you know, I feel like I make some pretty good content. I mean, I, I be trying to make y'all laugh and I be trying to give y'all some value, you know what I'm saying? But listen here, if y'all want to continue to rock with me, I solely, so, 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 so greatly appreciate you guys. I love y'all. I want y'all to continue to grow with me and I want to continue to grow with you guys. But that is all. And that is a wrap on my life anniversary for 32 years old. And I cannot wait to see what God has in store for me. But I also know that I am waiting on God's timing and I'm okay with the wait. I'm you know, I'm okay with being patient. If you have been here before, baby, you already know. But if you have not, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, baby. And also make sure that you are hitting that notification bell as well. So you can see when the videos are going up on the channel. Until next time, bye.